welcome to the rogue trading communities video and this video is about an analysis on a stock called bank of america corporation which is listed on new york stock exchange so the purpose of this video is to make sure that our viewers can analyze a stock or any chart out there from scratch using both market structure and volume spread analysis because this is something that we have been observing for a while right now that most of our viewers especially from youtube uh, you you guys you know kind of like uh, have seen our videos such as buying climax and so on right so so there are viewed videos which have already been uploaded and we are getting great responses for those videos and the most popular ones are buying climax up thrust selling climax stopping volume and all these videos so these are the individual vsa concepts which we have um, explained here but ultimately the point is viewers are trying to apply the concepts in a linear manner in the sense there is a selling climax and you guys are thinking about buying the stock immediately that is not the right approach for volume spread analysis guys okay integration of both market structure and volume spread analysis is very much required and that is the ultimate reason why we are making this video and i have titled you as you can see right in the screen i have mentioned as bank of america corporation why is that because recently in our community we actually uh, made a analysis on this stock and i thought i'll take this example itself and i'm going to make sure that you guys also understand how to analyze a stock the right way okay so so what happened is around april 14th so today the when i'm recording this it's on april 17th uh, 2024 so or on april 14 one of the members okay one of the members they shared a chart of bank of america corporation daily time frame and eventually market was creating that uptrend in a daily time frame but ultimately the point writer is they mentioned that eventually it is in a corrective phase so the probability of buyers entering the market is higher because there a strength was being built if you observe carefully this was a impulse and this was a corrective right clearly and you see there is strength is being built in the market ultimately when market came back to that high volume activity see this high volume activity this selling climax right exactly the same point market is coming back and they might be wondering here they are getting strength so the probability of buyers entering the market is higher well that was the analysis of one of the members but ultimately we thought that there is something going on in this stock and why don't i make a video about it so i made a video this is something i may i mix explain to them and i made a video and i uploaded to them okay and i'm going to play that video right now for you guys okay so watch this video properly and understand the each and every part of that video each and every part of the analysis and it's going to be very useful for you guys trust me on this it's going to be very useful okay so i'm going to play this video right now so let's get started so this is the daily time frame of the stock and as you can see right here market is creating that you know impulse and corrective and its kind of strength is being built and probably buyers could uh, enter and this will uh, this will be an impulse in the next phase but are you sure this has a potential to create an up move that is the ultimate question right now let's switch to the monthly time frame okay so anyone who's watching this video right now please understand you it doesn't matter you want to do positional trading you want to do swing trading or even intraday trading it is a must you have to know what's happening from a monthly time frame to lower time frame okay you should be at least for once usually when you're doing intraday trading right daily is way more enough to if you ask me daily time frame and hourly time frame is as a higher time frame is way more enough 15 and 5 can act as a entry time frames and you can actually take a trade but ultimately when you're doing swing trading or positional both for both monthly weekly daily are the three major time frames that you have to know what's happening okay now coming back to the point if you observe the monthly time frame right now if i zoom in you see in the past market drastically fell down and it started creating a higher high momentum right market is creating a higher high momentum but observe carefully right here what i felt is that this higher high higher low 
this higher high is okay then later on this higher low was kind of like a very deeper corrective you know like if i just draw the fib right here you see market is going below 61.8 then it's bouncing back that's point one i want to be noted right here if i share the same thing which is a new this was a lower low right so if i take the fib right here and see it's exactly coming to 61.8 and just bouncing back this could be a good kind of like a retracement okay a good corrective but a good corrective will be counted when market comes back to 61.8 and then bouncing back that is a good corrective but it came below 61.8 and just going up there's a kind of like you know this looks like some sort of a seller's presence in the market that's point number one in terms of price i'm talking about okay in terms of volume we're going to do a little bit of deeper analysis right here. Okay. We're going to do all angle kind of analysis. Okay. And if you observe carefully here, you have this high volume activity, right? Market went up, tested this high volume activity. Now it's bouncing back. So indicating this bounce is a good bounce actually fine. No problem. And the third thing, ultimately this higher high, is kind of extended so after an impulse you should get a corrective even if let's say this was your high volume activity and let's say if this is your bounce market should create that corrective and then you should create a bounce right we should know that so technically i think monthly has the potential to go down that's point number one but why do i think monthly has a potential to go down well the answer lies in the weekly time frame if you observe weekly time frame weekly has a higher high higher low and higher high but ultimately weekly is facing resistance weekly is facing resistance right here so weekly and monthly both are confirming that this has a potential to go down right here. i don't know how long but it might go down okay if you ask me i think market could create a down move up to this point Okay, at least up to 32 or something like that, then it might create an up mode. Depends upon it. Okay, this is not a prediction or anything like that. Okay, but we have to observe the further development. If there are buyers entering the market, we will know that with time. Okay, but according to me, this still has a potential to go down because it's kind of like facing that kind of a resistance on the top on a weekly time frame. And now you look into a daily time frame, right? Market is kind of like created that up move. It, it was been an uptrend for a very long time in a daily time frame, right? Almost from November, it's been creating an up move. So obviously there should be a down move. That monthly time frame and weekly time frames correction is a reversal in a daily time frame. Okay, we might have that semi reversal and a complete reversal kind of scenarios. Yes. Ultimately, we are getting strength right here, but doesn't mean that market will drastically create an up move by breaking this high. No, it might create an up move. Then it might form, it might create a down move like this. Possibilities? Yes, that's these are the analysis of monthly, weekly, and daily time frame. Now let's look into the hourly time frame right here. If you check the hourly time frame, see this. We had this distribution schematic, and then market is going creating a lower low momentum. If you don't know what kind of schematic is it, well, let me draw the levels for you guys. A buying climax, right, with a C, high volume. An AR, automatic reaction. An up thrust, market drastically went down. All right, consolidation, breakout towards the lower side. It was not able to come back. In fact, it was not able to sustain, went back. I literally broke the low. It's going down right now. And if you ask me, market might create an up move up to this point. That is what I'm I'm trying to say, right? It might come back up to this point. It might consolidate and it might start creating a lower low momentum. Even this is possible in Bank of America uh, corporation stock. Okay, possibilities again where I'm seeing it. But if you know that there is strength being built in the market, if you observe carefully, if I'm going to switch to uh, VSA right here, you see there is one signal of strength right here. This is second signal of strength right here. So constantly market is building signal of strength while market is creating a lower low momentum indicating slowly buyers are entering with time, right? Slowly buyers are entering with time. Limit orders are being triggered right here, right? 
So if you want to capture at least this momentum, at least up to this point, what kind of confirmation you need? Well, you can go to even lower time frame and check for some sort of a confirmation, right? You see, market has been in consolidation for a while right now, right? If I can switch back, observe carefully. Now, I think this was uh, 12th April, right? This was a high volume activity, right? And if you observe, market is below that high volume activity, but is not able to create a lower low momentum, right? It is just coming back to that high volume activity again and again and again and again. So indicating a up move is higher. If you want to, if you want to capture this momentum, then you can wait for some sort of a consolidation on a lower time frame and capture this momentum up to the hourly time frame. That is 36.80. Okay, you can actually capture a momentum up to 36.80. But if you get a proper consolidation, some sort of a schematic confirmation on a lower time frame, this momentum is possible at least up to this point. That's what I'm trying to say. You don't have to capture all these momentum. You don't know because when market comes back inside this area, this is, this is a cause area, right? So if market comes back to this cause area, I'm pretty sure that market will consolidate this from this area. Okay. So ultimately, even if you want to buy, I would recommend you can buy up to this point. That is the only thing I can recommend you guys. Okay. But for that, I need some sort of a consolidation, right? If you observe, I see a selling climax, an automatic reaction, a secondary test market is creating that consolidation. If we get an up thrust action and down, then that will become our entire consolidation. And based on that, you can actually look for an opportunity. Okay. I'm, I'm talking about a five minute time frame right here. You have to observe as a trader, you cannot be that guy either like, sir, I only trade daily time frames and uh, I will look for an opportunity in a daily time frame. Well, your, your entry opportunity was in a lower time frame. You missed it already and market could have drastically created an up move. So what I would, uh, there are two scenarios right here today, since there is a global market scenario that's going on right here, right? So in that particular case, market could create a down move further. So that means that this cause will not be valid. If market sustains and this creates a consolidation and creates an uptrust and this consolidates in, it means that this is a cause being built right now and eventually market could create an up move. Okay. These are the two scenarios according to me personally. Okay. These are the two scenarios according to me. Well, what happens? Even I don't know about it. Let's observe it. Okay. Let's analyze this talk with time. Let's see what happens. Even I'm going to keep that in track. I'm going to keep this in watch list. And if there is a good lesson, it will be helpful for every one of us to learn about it. Okay. So now the video is completed. So I hope you watch this video completely. And what is the analysis according to this video? So ultimately what I mentioned right here, that eventually market could create that buy momentum up to 36.80 nearby. And then later on market has the potential to go down. Right? Clearly. That's what it's mentioned right here. Hmm? Look at here. Pause. Now, see, this is the analysis. Now, let me show the chart right now for you guys. See. So, we did this analysis on this section. Market retraced, bounce. The reason why volume spread analysis and volume Wyckoff schematics and all the concepts that we uploaded in our YouTube channel works really well is because we have a proper framework. We use it in the right way. That is the ultimate reason. I did this video on the live market scenario, right? I did this video on the live market scenario. Exactly. This was, this video was recorded on 15th of April and today it's around 17th. It's currently in the pre-market scenario right now. It's still have one hour to for the New York stock exchange to open. But ultimately the point is look at the way, like literally market came back exactly from the same point market reversed. And I'm going to give you that analysis right now. Let's go to the five minute time frame. Now here observe carefully. And this is where we were actually looking at it, right? So we had this high volume activity and we had this consolidation and I was looking for a buy opportunity, right? So this was a buy opportunity. We were looking for that buy opportunity at least up to 36.80, but ultimately market created that gap up, right? So even after that gap up, 
a typical VSA trader could have actually taken a trade right here. How? Let me tell you that. There are three major reasons why we should have taken a trade right here. Point number one, right? Point number one, that market is coming back for a retracement of that distribution schematic. There are a lot of, uh, you know, labeling should be done right here, but ultimately I just labeled the major ones right here. Okay, so we have this distribution schematic right here, clearly, and market is coming back for a retracement. That is point number one. Point number two, if you go to a lower time frame or any time frame, five minutes, 15 minutes, one hour time frame, we are having a weakness. Let me switch to the bar chart so that you guys can understand it. Okay, let me zoom in. See, this is a widespread bar volume more than the average volume right here indicating a buying climax it could be ultra high volume or average volume more than average volume both can be considered for buying climax right a buying climax followed by a down bar clear indication right clear indication of sellers entering the market one could have easily executed a trade around this section but to capture all this momentum on the short side you could have shorted this stock immediately just by looking at it and third and most important reason, we had a gap up. And I'm talking about the scenario of the 15th, like April 15th scenario. So technically, we had a gap up. So the probability of a gap fill is also higher. So you had three major reasons. Distribution schematic resistance, retracement, weakness, and gap up. We had three reasons for a short trade right here. One could have easily executed a trade on this section, kept your stop loss above and captured all this momentum at least up to this point. And even on 16th, market drastically went down right here by breaking the low of this section. That's how accurate our concepts are if you truly understand the purpose of it. Why did we determine that market will go down right here? By using higher time frame structure. We understood that weekly is facing resistance so market can go down right here, even further it can go down. That was the ultimate uh, analysis that we did in this video, right here. In this video, that's what, the, that's what we did right here. And ultimately look what happened. Drastic downfall and it still has a potential to go down. But I'm kind of like a skeptical about it. If I just switch to the daily time frame right here, right? Look here. Let me remove the drawings. Look here. At this point. Compare the volumes right here. Now, this current market scenario, the volume is very huge comparatively. This 16th, 16th bar's volume is very huge compared to all the volumes in the past. So ultimately, what I think is that buyers can enter the market right here. That's what I feel. Okay? But that depends upon the further development. Even in a 5-minute time frame, if I just switch to the candlesticks right here, you see, we have a reversal uh, scenario right here in terms of market structure. And also I see a small schematic that's being developed right here, right here. Hmm. Simple. We have a small schematic right here. So this breakout can give us an opportunity again for a momentum. up to this area, the 36 area, right? Let me draw the levels again for you guys, if you want to. Again, if we have a scenario here, if we get that good momentum out there, if we have a good market structure eventually, then we still we can actually capture a momentum up to this point. In case buyers are entering the market, or at least one is to two, minimum, okay? At least one is to two, minimum. That is something that that's possible right here, but we don't have a buy setup yet. It is still consolidating. It's still observing out, out there. It's observing the circulating supply. So we have to wait for the market to give us a proper confirmation right here. Okay. So hopefully you learned something out of this video, right? Like I have, ex I've tried to explain it in a most simplest concept out there, right? And this is the same type of analysis in any stock out there. Okay. Analyze it based on the current market scenario. Analyze both market structure as well as volume spread analysis. That is the one way 
to determine what's happening in the current market scenario and to take the right trade to make consistent returns out of the market. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you learned something out of it. In the next video, we're going to talk about time frame integration using volume spread analysis. Again, the same type of concept in a detailed way because we are currently doing an activity in the rogue trading community. Okay, let me just share that with you guys. Okay, so the activity is I gave them like 10 stocks within FT50 and we are observing the stocks actually. Okay, based on the further development of the stock, based on the further setups on the stock, I'm going to make, I might be making a video about it and stay tuned on that. And that's it for this video. And we will see you in the next video. Goodbye and have a great day.